Okay, students, let's take a look at the metric system. Hopefully this is a review for you. Basic unit, um, let's use the meter for this example. The meter is called an SI unit. And you should take notes on your paper, like I am. SI units is often called metric. It stands for International System of Units. And so what we have here is um, for length, it's going to be the meter. And for mass, it's going to be the gram. And for volume, uh, the liter. These are the three base units that we'll work with today. But in science, there are many other SI units, like the joule for energy and seconds for time. Okay, so um, this is the ladder method that we're going to learn. So you have your base unit, which is the meter, but you can take a meter and you can divide it into 10 smaller units called decimeters. And we'll put, the, put that down here. So decimeter. And um, so decimeter, the symbol would be dm. So this is for meter, it's just m. And deci means one tenth. So it's going to be uh, point 0.1. If we go 10 times smaller than a decimeter, we have what's called a centimeter. And the symbol for centimeter would be cm, lowercase cm. And that would represent point 0.01. And if we go 10 times smaller than a centimeter, we get to milli. And the symbol for millimeter is mm. So a milli represents one thousandth of a meter. And um, how can we remember these words? So centimeter, cent refers to 100. What word comes to mind? Century, 100 years in a century, 100 cents in a penny, I mean 100 cents in a dollar. And for milli, to remember that milli means a thousand units make up a whole meter. Uh, I think of Spanish, the word for a thousand in Spanish being meal. So um, we have units that are bigger than the base unit of meter. If we take 10 meters, that unit of length we can call a deca meter, D-E-K-A. And the symbol for that is D A M, deck a meter. And that represents 10. If we have 100 meters, that's called a hectometer. Symbol H M. And if we have 1,000 meters, that's called a kilometer. K M. Okay, so now that we have these prefixes defined, then we can easily convert from one unit, like a kilometer, to a centimeter. And so um, you can see down here in this little box, to convert to a larger unit, move the decimal point to the left or divide. And if we are converting to a larger unit, that means we're going to have a smaller amount of that unit to have, in the end, the same amount as what we um, started with. So let's just do an example with that. Okay, so we'll do an example right here. So we'll start with a pretty basic conversion. Two meters is how many centimeters? You can look at this a couple of well, several different ways. We already know that a centi um, that there are one hundred centimeters in a meter, and so you could just say, oh, that means two hundred. Or we can look at it this way: we're going from meter to centimeter, and that's two jumps. And each of these jumps represents going to a unit that is 10 times smaller, which means the number of units that we need is 10 times more in order to end up with the same quantity. So when we go from meter to decimeter, we multiply by 10. When we go from decimeter to centimeter, which is 10 times smaller than the decimeter, we need to multiply our number again times 10. So this is kind of like scientific notation, right? So what we're really doing here is taking 2, 
and then moving the decimal over twice, multiplying by 10 twice, and that becomes 0, 0, so 200 centimeters. So there's a general rule that every time you go from a one unit to a the next size down unit, you end up multiplying your number times 10. And that's true for all these. And so you can put in there times 10, times 10, times 10. Let's do one more like that. Let's say that I have, um, let's say that I have 55 centimeters and we want to know how many millimeters is that so we're going from centimeters to millimeters so um, we're going to be going along here Whoop. so just one movement it means we're going to move the decimal place one time in that direction so we end up getting 550 Okay, now um, you have some practice ones like that on your paper. And you can see right here, um, 14 kilometers to meters. So let's do this one for an example. Right here. So 14 kilometers to meters, we're going to be going from kilo here to meters. So that's one, two, three jumps. So we have 14 decimal points there. One, two, three jumps. Decimal point goes there. Throw in your placeholder zeros and you get 14,000 meters. And that should kind of make sense because one kilometer is a thousand meters. So 14 kilometers will be 14,000 meters. Okay. Now, if we're going from a small unit to a bigger unit, the opposite, then everything gets reversed. We end up dividing by 10 with each step. So let's take a look at um, an example of that. So let's do an example like this. If we have 600 meters and we want to convert that into kilometers, how many kilometers is that? So we're starting here with meters. We're going to go one, two, three jumps to get to kilometers. And with each jump, we are dividing by 10. So we have 600, and then dividing by 10 means one, two, three jumps to the left. So it becomes 0 0.600. And we put a zero in front just so that decimal point doesn't kind of get lost in the shuffle. Okay, um, let's do one more example. Let's say we want to go from, uh, we'll do a, an extreme one here. Let's go from 25 centimeters to how many kilometers? Okay, so we're going to go um, starting here centi, getting over to kilo, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five jumps, each jump dividing by 10. So we have 25, and how many jumps was that again? One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Decimal point's going to end up right there. Throw in our placeholder zeros, we need one, two, three placeholders, so point zero 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 two five. I'm gonna put a zero point zero out in front. Okay, so um, we can do an example like this one here for that, 250, and um, it looks like three jumps to go from meters to kilometers, so we have one, two, three, point two, Five oh zero. So I want to show also that um, down here at the bottom we have some that are um, comparing using those uh, less than, greater than, or equal. So the only way that you can compare two things is if they have the same units. 
So you have a choice. You can either convert 56 centimeters into meters or 6 meters into centimeters. And so we could do centimeters to meters. We can go 1, 2, and now that 0.56 meters. And how does that compare to 6 meters? Clearly 6 is greater, so there's the answer for this one. But we could have also done this, this way. We could have instead said that 6 meters is 600 centimeters and clearly 600 is greater than 56. We're going to arrive at the same conclusion. You have basically a lot of practice conversions like, like what we just did. Um, and you also have at the top of your paper these right here about um, how to write the correct abbreviations. So just to get you a little started on this, kilogram, it is a lowercase g. Of course meter we know is just 1m and gram is just 1g. So in liter, usually we use a capital L for liter Otherwise, a lowercase l kind of looks like a 1. So uh, I think that's it. Let me just scroll down here and see. Yeah, so you just have more practice like this, and we'll go over any questions that you have in class. Okay, thanks for tuning in.